The following is the text entry on the Wikipedia article on Anfield and is current as of December 20, 2012. For the text of this article, please visit www.wikipedia.org. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Anfield Anfield is a football stadium in Anfield, Liverpool, England, which has a seating capacity of 45,276. It has been the home of Liverpool FC since their formation in 1892. It was originally the home of Everton FC from 1884 to 1892, when they moved to Goodison Park. The stadium has four stands, the Spion Cop, Main Stand, Centenary Stand, and Anfield Road. The record attendance of 61,905 was set at a match between Liverpool and Wolverhampton Wanderers in 1952. The ground's conversion to an all-seater stadium in 1994 as a result of the Taylor Report greatly reduced its capacity. Two gates at the ground are named after former Liverpool managers, Bill Shankly and Bob Paisley. A statue of Shankly is situated outside the stadium. The ground is two miles or three kilometers from Liverpool Lime Street Railway Station. Plans to replace Anfield with a new 60,000 capacity stadium in adjacent Stanley Park were initiated in 2002. Fenway Sports Group's acquisition of Liverpool in 2010 made the construction of a new stadium doubtful, as they have said they would prefer to redevelop Anfield. History Opened in 1884, Anfield was originally owned by John Orrell, a minor landowner who was a friend of an Everton FC member, John Holding. Everton, who previously played at Priory Road, were in need of a new venue owing to the noise produced by the crowd on match days. Orrell lent the pitch to the club in exchange for a small rent. The first match at the ground was between Everton and Earlstown on 28 September 1884, which Everton won 5-0. During Everton's tenure at the stadium, stands were erected for some of the 8,000-plus spectators regularly attending matches, although the ground was capable of holding around 20,000 spectators, and occasionally did. The ground was considered of international standard at the time, playing host to the British Home Championship match between England and Ireland in 1889. Anfield's first league match was played on 8 September 1888, between Everton and Accrington FC. Everton quickly improved as a team and became Anfield's first league champions in the 1819-91 season. In 1892, negotiations to purchase the land at Anfield from Oral escalated into a dispute between Holding and the Everton FC committee over how the club was run. Events culminated in Everton's move to Goodison Park. Holding was left with an empty stadium and decided to form a new club to occupy it. The new team was called Liverpool FC and Athletic Grounds Limited, and the club's first match at Anfield was a friendly, played in front of 200 people on the 1st of September, 1892, against Rotherham Town. Liverpool won 7-1. Liverpool's first football league match at Anfield was played on 9 September, 1893, against Lincoln City. Liverpool won 4-0 in front of 5,000 spectators. A new stand capable of holding 3,000 spectators was constructed in 1895 on the site of the present main stand. Designed by architect Archibald Leach, the stand had a distinctive red and white gable and was similar to the main stand at Newcastle United's ground, St. James Park. Another stand was constructed at the Anfield Road end in 1903, built from timber and corrugated iron. After Liverpool had won their second league championship in 1906, a new stand was built along the Walton Breck Road. Local journalist Ernest Edwards, who was the sports editor of newspapers The Liverpool Daily Post and Echo, christened it the Spion Cop. It was named after a famous hill in South Africa where a local regiment had suffered heavy losses during the Boer War in 1900. More than 300 men had died, many of them from Liverpool, as the British Army attempted to capture the strategic hilltop. Around the same period, a stand was also built along Kemlin Road. 
The ground remained much the same until 1928, when the cup was redesigned and extended to hold 30,000 spectators, all standing. A roof was erected as well. Many stadia in England had stands named after the Spion Cup. Anfield's was the largest cup in the country at the time. It was able to hold more supporters than some entire football ground. In the same year, the top mast of the SS Great Eastern, one of the first iron ships, was rescued from the shipbreaking yard at nearby Rock Ferry and was hauled up Everton Valley by a team of horses to be erected alongside the new cop. It still stands there, serving as a flagpole. Floodlights were installed at a cost of £12,000 in 1957. On 30th October, they were switched on for the first time for a match against Everton to commemorate the 75-year anniversary of the Liverpool County Football Association. In 1963, the old Kemlin Road stand was replaced by a cantilevered stand built at a cost of £350,000 and able to hold 6,700 spectators. Two years later, alterations were made at the Anfield Road end, turning it into a large covered standing area. The biggest redevelopment came in 1973, when the old main stand was demolished and a new one constructed. At the same time, the pylon floodlights were pulled down and new lights installed along the top of the Kemlin Road and main stands. The new stand was officially opened by the Duke of Kent on 10th March 1973. In the 1980s, the paddock in front of the main stand was turned into seating, and in 1982, seats were introduced at the Anfield Road end. The Shankly Gates were erected in 1982, a tribute to former manager Bill Shankly. His widow Nessie unlocked them for the first time on 26 August 1982. Across the Shankly Gates are the words, You'll Never Walk Alone, the title of the hit song by Jerry and the Pacemakers, adopted by Liverpool fans as a club's anthem during Shankly's time as manager. Coloured seats and a police room were added to the Camlin Road stand in 1987. After the Hillsborough disaster in 1989, where overcrowding led to the deaths of 96 Liverpool fans, the Taylor Report recommended that all grounds in the country should be converted into all-seated grounds by 1994. A second tier was added to the Camlin Road stand in 1992, turning it into a double-decker layout. It included executive boxes and function suites, as well as 11,000 seating spaces. Plans to expand the stand had been made earlier, with the club buying up houses on Kemlin Road during the 1970s and 1980s, but had to be put on hold until 1990 because two sisters, Joanne and Nora Mason, refused to sell their house. When the club reached an agreement with the sisters in 1990, the expansion plans were put into action. The stand, renamed the Centenary Stand, was officially opened on 1st September 1992 by UEFA President Lennart Johansson. The COP was rebuilt in 1994 after the recommendations of the Taylor Report and became all seated. It is still a single tier and the capacity was significantly reduced to 12,390. On 4th December 1997, a bronze statue of Bill Shankly was unveiled at the visitor's centre in front of the COP. Standing at over 8 feet or 2.4 metres tall, the statue depicts Shankly with a fan's scarf around his neck in a familiar pose he adopted when receiving applause from fans. Inscribed on the statue are the words, Bill Shankly, he made the people happy. The Hillsborough Memorial is situated along the Shankly Gates and is always decorated with flowers and tributes to the 96 people who died in 1989 as a result of the disaster. At the centre of the memorial is an eternal flame, signifying that those who died will never be forgotten. The most recent structural change to Anfield came in 1998 when the new two-tier Anfield Road End was opened. The stand has encountered a number of problems since its redevelopment. At the beginning of the 1999-2000 season, a series of support poles and stanchions had to be brought in to give extra stability to the top tier of the stand. During Ronnie Moran's testimonial match against Celtic, many fans complained of movement of the top tier. At the same time that the stanchions were inserted, the executive seating area was expanded by two rows in the main stand, 
lowering the seating capacity in the paddock. Structures and Facilities Anfield comprises 45,276 seats, split between four stands, the Anfield Road End, the Centenary Stand, the Cop, and the Main Stand. The Anfield Road End and Centenary Stand are two-tiered, while the Cop and Main Stand are single-tiered. Entry to the stadium is gained by Radio Frequency Identification, RFID, smart cards, rather than the traditional manned turnstile. This system, used in all 80 turnstiles around Anfield, was introduced in 2005. The COP is a large single-tiered stand. Originally, a large terraced banking providing accommodation for more than 30,000 spectators, the current incarnation was constructed in 1994-95 and is single-tiered with no executive boxes. The COP houses the club's museum, the Regicate Centre and the official club shop. The club is the most renowned stand at Anfield among home and away supporters, with the people who occupy the stand referred to as Copites. Such was the reputation that the stand had. It was claimed that the crowd in the cop could suck the ball into the goal. Traditionally, Liverpool's most vocal supporters congregate in this stand. The oldest stand at Anfield is the main stand, which was completed in 1982. It is a single-tiered stand that houses the dressing rooms and director's box. The press and director's VIP box are located in the middle of the stand. The large roof is supported by two thin central uprights with a large suspended television camera gun tree. The player's tunnel and the technical area where the managers and substitutes sit during the match are in the middle of the stand at pitch level. Above the stairs leading down to the pitch hangs a sign stating this is Anfield. Its purpose is to both intimidate the opposition and to bring the Liverpool players who touch it good luck. Accordingly, Liverpool players and coaching staff reach up and place one or both hands on it as they pass underneath. The Centenary Stand is a two-tiered stand. Originally a single-tiered stand called the Kemlin Road Stand, the second tier was added in 1992 to coincide with the club's centenary. It is located opposite of the main stand and houses directors' boxes, which are between the two tiers. The stand also houses the ground's police station. The Anfield Road stand on the left side of the main stand houses the away fans during matches. The Anfield Road end was rebuilt in 1965 and multicolored seats were added in 1982. Originally a single-tier stand, a further revamp which was completed in 1998, gave the stand a second tier, providing additional seating. There are 59 spaces available in the stadium to accommodate wheelchair users who have season tickets. A further 33 spaces are available for general sale and 8 are allocated to away supporters. These spaces are located in the main stand, Anfield Road stand and the COP. There are 38 spaces available for the visually impaired, which are situated in the paddock area of the main stand, with space for one personal assistant each. A headset with full commentary is provided. The stadium features tributes to two of the club's most successful managers. The Paisley Gateway is a tribute to Bob Paisley, who guided Liverpool to three European Cups and six league championships in the 1970s and 80s. The gates were erected at the COP. Their design includes representations of the three European Cups Paisley won during his tenure, the crest of his birthplace in Hetton Le Hall and the crest of Liverpool FC. The Shankly Gates, in tribute to Bill Shankly, Paisley's predecessor between 1959 and 1974, are at the Anfield Road end. Their design includes a Scottish flag, a Scottish thistle, the Liverpool badge and the words you will never walk alone. Future Plans to replace Anfield were originally initiated by Liverpool in May 2002. The proposed capacity was 55,000, but it was later revised to 61,000, with 1,000 seats given for segregation between home and away fans. Several attempts were made between 2003 to 2007 by the Liverpool City Council 
to instigate a ground share of the proposed stadium with local rivals Everton, but this move was rejected as neither club favoured it. On July 30th, 2004, Liverpool was granted planning permission to build a new stadium 300 yards or 270 metres away from Anfield at Stanley Park. On 8 September 2006, Liverpool City Council agreed to grant Liverpool FC a 999-year lease of the land on the proposed site. Following the takeover of Liverpool FC on 6 February 2007 by George Gillette and Tom Hicks, the proposed stadium was redesigned. In November 2007, the redesigned layout was approved by the council, and construction was due to start in early 2008. The new stadium, provisionally called Stanley Park Stadium, was to be built by HKS Incorporated. It was scheduled to open in August 2011 with a capacity of 60,000. If the new stadium is built, Anfield will be demolished. The land will become home to the centerpiece for the Anfield Plaza development, which would include a hotel, restaurants and offices. However, the construction of Stanley Park was delayed following the economic crisis of 2008 and the subsequent recession, which directly affected the then American owners. The situation was worsened because the club was bought with borrowed money and not the owner's capital, and interest rates were higher than expected. Hicks and Gillette promised to begin work on the stadium within 60 days of acquisition of the club but had trouble financing the estimated £500 million needed for the Stanley Park development. The deadline passed and, as of June 2011, the site remains untouched. The delays had repercussions in the local district of Anfield, with regeneration plans on hold until the future of the football stadium is decided. The acquisition of Liverpool by Fenway Sports Group in October 2010 put into question whether Liverpool would leave Anfield. In February 2011, the new club owner, John W. Henry, stated that he had a preference for remaining at Anfield and expanding the capacity. After attending a number of games at Anfield, Henry stated that the cup is unrivaled, adding, quote, it would be hard to replicate that feeling anywhere else, end quote. On 15 October 2012, Liverpool City Council announced plans to regenerate the Anfield area after securing a £25 million grant with a housing association also set to invest. Other uses Anfield has hosted numerous international matches and was one of the venues used during the UEFA Euro 1996. The ground hosted three group games and a quarter-final. The first international match hosted at Anfield was between England and Ireland in 1889. England won the match 6-1. Anfield was also the home venue for several of England's international football matches in the early 1900s and for the Welsh team in the later part of the century. Anfield has also played host to live FA Cup semi-finals, the last of which was in 1929. The most recent international to be hosted at Anfield was England's 2-1 victory over Uruguay on 1st March 2006. England has played two testimonial matches against Liverpool at Anfield. The first was in 1983, when England faced Liverpool for Phil Thompson's testimonial. Then, in 1988, England visited again for Alan Hansen's testimonial. Anfield has been the venue for many other events. During the mid-twenties, Anfield was the finishing line for the City Marathon. Liverpool held an annual race which started from St. George's Plateau in the city centre and finished with a lap of Anfield. Boxing matches were regularly held at Anfield during the interwar years, including a number of British boxing championships. On June 12, 1934, Nell Tarleton beat Freddie Miller for the World Featherweight title. Professional tennis was played at Anfield on boards on the pitch. U.S. Open champion Bill Tidden and Wimbledon champion Fred Perry entertained the crowds in an exhibition match. In 1958, an exhibition basketball match featuring the Harlem Globetrotters was held at the ground. 
the 1991 World Cup Challenge Rugby League match between the Penrith Panthers, winners of the Australian NSWRL Premiership, and the Wigan Warriors, winners of the European Super League, was held at the ground in front of 20,152 people. In addition to Rugby League, Anfield has been confirmed as one of the grounds that will host matches during the 2015 Rugby Union World Cup. Aside from sporting uses, Anfield has been a venue for musicians of different genres, as well as evangelical preachers. One week in July 1984, the American evangelist Billy Graham preached at Anfield, attracting crowds of over 30,000 each night. Anfield was featured in Liverpool's 2008 European Capital of Culture celebrations. 36,000 people attended a concert on 1st of June 2008, featuring the Zuttons, Kaiser Chiefs, and Paul McCartney. Records The highest attendance recorded at Anfield is 61,905 for Liverpool's match against Wolverhampton Wanderers in the FA Cup 5th round on 2nd February 1952. The lowest attendance recorded at Anfield was 1,000 for a match against Lowborough on 7th December 1895. The highest average attendance of 48,127 was set in 1978. Liverpool did not lose a match at Anfield during the 1893-94, and 2008-09 seasons. They won all their home games during the 1893-94 season. Liverpool's longest winning streak at home extended from January 1978 to January 1981, a period encompassing 85 games in which Liverpool scored 212 goals and conceded 35. Liverpool's worst losing streak at Anfield is three games. This occurred three times in the club's history to date, 1899-1900, to 1906-07, to and 1908-09 to seasons. Transport. The stadium is about two miles or three kilometers from Lime Street Station, which lies on a branch of the West Coast Main Line from London Euston. Kirkdale Station, about one mile or 1.6 kilometers from the stadium, is the nearest station to Anfield. Fans traveling by train for matches may book direct to Anfield or Goodison Park, changing, changing to the Mersey Travel Sook. So changing to the Mersey Travel Soccer Bus Service at Sand Hill Station on the Mersey Rail Northern Line. The stadium has no parking facilities for supporters, and the streets around the ground allow parking only for residents with permits. There are proposals under consideration for reinstating passenger traffic on the Bootle Branch, which would cut the distance from the nearest train station to about 0.5 miles, or 1 kilometre. Anfield. Location. Liverpool, Merseyside, England. Opened 1884. Owner, Liverpool FC. Operator, Liverpool FC. Surface, Desso Grassmaster. Capacity, 45,276. Executive Suites, 32. Record attendance, 61,905 for Liverpool Wolverhampton Wanderers, 2nd February 1952. Field dimensions, 101 metres, or 110 yards, by 68 metres, or 74 yards. Tenants, Everton, 1884-1892, to 1892, and Liverpool, 1892-present. to present. End of recording.